Hello all, and welcome back to another build event. Today we're taking a look at some crashed ships, which, like you just watched, were designed to be new Martian respawn pods. Real quick, I want to say congratulations to Task Force 577 for winning last week's moon pod event. Now let's jump right into it. As usual, the first ship we're going to take a look at is going to be my submission. That'll give us a good baseline and what to expect from the rest. I did something fairly simple. This is what is going to be left of the ship when it hits the ground. And you're going to have pretty much what you start with on a basic starter pod. The vanilla starter pod, one large battery. We've got an O2H2, a survival kit. You do not have a connector or any type of storage in this one because that part all blew up with entry. But you do have a lot of small parts here and there. You can see you've got some heavy armor on the front so you can harvest some metal grids. Start getting a large cargo built up pretty quickly. You actually have quite a bit of heavy armor around on this one and you have some thrusters. Most of them are broken to start, but you can see they have quite a bit of materials. That one's pretty empty, but the ones over here have quite a bit. Nearly full inside. Here's one. There's another one. That one's only missing one motor basically until it's functional. So you could get something up and flying or up and rolling pretty quickly with this starter pod. Nice flames everywhere. It really gets the, the vibe with all the stuff raining down around you as you land. It's pretty cool. So we do have quite a few thrusters that you can piece parts out of. Exhaust pipe, beacon, antenna, whatnot. The usual starter stuff. And we do have a air vent, which is located right up here that you can repair if you want to pull air in and start getting air in your cockpit so that you can breathe a little bit more easily. But... Even if you don't get that working, you do have the O2H2. As for inventory items, we've got a little bit of ammo for the Gatling turret. I decided to give you a Gatling turret on the top because Mars is going to be a hostile planet for us on our server. And that is primarily what I'm designing this for. There's going to be hostile NPCs, so having a Gatling turret that can defend you at least a little bit while you're getting started is not a bad idea, I don't think. And uh, we have... A little bit of a sneaky thing you don't see it in the inventory but right underneath the wings are gun racks and you do have quite a bit of guns and ammo inside there again to help protect yourself while you're getting going so that's pretty much it for mine basic but pretty good the next one we're going to take a look at is this this was built by master crash 06 it is not so much a crash ship. They didn't get around to actually beating up and whatnot, but that's okay. We're going to take a look at it anyway. They've got a whole lot of hydrogen engines on it and a few little uh, atmospheric thrusters, some big atmospheric thrusters. This one, you could probably get flying really quick. I mean, right now it would be, would be functional. Like, I could just turn this on and fly away. But if it does win the competition, we'll, we'll bang it up before we make it a spawn pod. That is the goal for this one. Let's see what we got for inventory. I see a medium cargo on the back. We do have that big hydrogen tank on the side as well. Quite a few gyros, a bunch of those, some magnetic plates, an O2H2, an oxygen tank, and the survival kit. The survival kit is hidden up top here. Kind of got to access it from the top, but you can recharge like that. Probably build a ramp up there real quick. And there is a small little turret, which you can defend yourself with at least somewhat it just looks like it rotates left and right. It doesn't actually rotate up and down, but that's kind of cool. It's a start at least. A couple batteries. How many batteries do you have, actually? Whoa, lots of batteries. So this is a pretty hefty start, but if you blew up half of it, maybe it would be uh, more on par for a regular starter vehicle. Interesting, though. Next, we're taking a look at Snow Tiger 256's ship. This one is an ion ship, which is an interesting idea because you won't be able to really use the ion thrusters on Mars here. So you're starting off with something that will guarantee you need to build something new. You're not going to be able to just patch this up and start flying. You'll have to start building a new ship from it. But it does look like it has all of the standard things that you would see on a starter pod. You have an O2H2, big old battery, or detector, beacon, antenna, a little bit of everything. Let's look inside here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Control panel. We do have a survival kit, a medium cargo container, a gyroscope, and pretty much everything else you would expect. It does have two batteries on it, so it's a little bit more charged than I put on mine. And it has a little bit more storage because you have the medium cargo container here, and then you have a connector as well. I think that connector is, yep, right on the back there. Pretty nice. Our next entry was submitted by Inuyashi. 
which is another ion ship that has crashed down to the surface of Mars. Pretty cool. This one's like a big racer speeder bike thing. So you jump on it like that. Looks pretty cool. It's got a solar panel too, which is still functional. So you can get that operating. Gives you a little bit of power. And right in here is where you'll access the survival kit. These ships have been sitting here for a while, so their power is blinking, but they would be fully charged as a respawn pod. Interesting. We got some hydrogen tanks up front here. You could actually probably recharge your bottles in there if you wanted to. We have a hydrogen engine on this one. A little oxygen thing to pull air in if you want to do that. An oxygen tank I can see. And a battery that's complete. A battery that's broken. How many components? Three components in it. So that could be repaired. Big old thruster. It's missing most of its components. But you can get some nice tubes out of that. You can probably get this converted into a rover pretty quickly. I see that there's a medium cargo container and a connector. Let's take a look at what else is in here. A couple gyros, hydrogen engine. Oh my gosh, lightning bolts. <laughs> We've got weather. We have to turn that off in a second. Looks like all the basic stuff. Now you do get an oxygen tank along with this, which is kind of nice. And the O2H2 generator. Hydrogen engine and a couple hydrogen tanks. You can recharge yourself for a little bit off of hydrogen, maybe a little bit off of solar. It's got kind of a variety. It's a neat ship for sure. That would be interesting to drop in with. I could see that being cool. Next up, we have our submission from Mostly AWOL. And this one has an interior once again. He does like to do that, and I like to see it. Got a little camera up top here. We're going to look around the outside first. Kind of a neat ship. Camera up top. Ore detector out front. We've got some atmospheric thrusters on the side, which you could probably repurpose couple of these and you can get a small drone up and running pretty quickly got a couple hydrogen thrusters as well it's got enough metal grids in that to make some sort of cargo container which is kind of cool hydrogen engine gyroscope o2h2 we've got a battery back here that is all piped together i can see that and let's jump inside real quick this is airtight inside this is where you're going to access your survival kit Got a little gun rack here with a gun in it. And if you close the door, you can see that we should be getting air soon. Our power is a little bit funky, but you can see that it's airtight because of the little green dot right there in the center of the screen. I'm not gonna worry too much about whether it's actually working. It probably has some of the stuff turned off like the O2H2 and whatnot. Flip through that. Let's open it up and make sure we haven't missed any special blocks. We do have engines. How many engines do we have? It says engines, but it's singular, not plural. I'm guessing this ship before it crashed had more than one engine, but it only has one now. We have one large battery and two small ones I saw. A bunch of thrusters. It's interesting to see how many we have and also that five of them are complete. So that's quite a few metal grids we'll be able to harvest out of those. Antenna, a couple of parachute hatches. We got a couple hydrogen tanks, which will be nice for powering up your jetpack. Then we've got a survival kit here, and most everything else is decorative. It's kind of cool, this one, in that it's a large ship, but you are getting very similar items, very similar starting blocks, as you would get with the vanilla starter pod. You just have a lot more other stuff to work with, like thrusters and little bits here and there. Pretty fun. I like that. I always like that it has an interior, and you can keep that uh, pressurized if you really want to. The last thing we are going to take a look at here is PhD Composer's submission. This is not so much a crashed ship, but a crashed rover. Definitely a different take on the idea. Now we have pretty much what you see is what you get with this one. There's nothing hidden on the bottom. I flipped it over and took a look. And nothing's really piped together, which is about par for a starter pod. So I can't complain about that. You got some work to do with this one, but you do have a little bit of power. You have quite a few of these small batteries and you have access to the survival kit right in the back here so you can get crafting things pretty quickly and hopefully repair some wheels and get rolling. That wouldn't be a bad idea. That is pretty much gonna be it for this walkthrough video. I had a good time looking through all of them. Thanks to everyone who submitted stuff. If you wanna get involved in voting or in building things for future events, head over to the Discord. Link for that is in the description down below. Like usual. But for now, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.